four masked robbers stormed a gas station in southeast Houston, met by a customer who was also armed. That customer opened fire, hitting three of the robbers. An innocent bystander was also injured during the gunfire. This happened around 8 p.m. at the Circle K Valero near the South Loop and Park Place. In today's video, we start with the terrifying reality of a citizen that shot three robbers in a Houston gas station to protect himself and end with the efficiency of legal arms ownership and protective training. According to a recent report, a citizen was said to have shot three robbers in a Houston gas station after a threat was made on his life. What is the full extent of the details? On April 14, 2023, the Houston police made reports of a customer firing gunshots during a robbery attempt at the gas station. According to Assistant Chief Ernest Garcia, he stated that the suspects were masked men robbing customers at gunpoint and things took a turn for worse or good, depending on the perspective. When an armed customer pulled out their weapon and fired to defend himself, the incident was reported to have taken place at the Circle K Valero convenience store at around 8.09 p.m. in the 8000 block of South Loop near Broadway. From what you have already gathered by facts, there were several bystanders and eyewitnesses to the occurrence. Four of those suspects entered the store. When they entered the store, they were masked up. Uh, the four uh, entered the store and started uh, robbing the customers inside the convenience store uh, at good point. While the robbery was taking place, uh, a we believe another citizen that was inside the store uh, was armed, uh, and he proceeded to discharge his uh, firearm at the suspects. At that time, the suspects, three of the suspects that had entered the store out of the four were hit by gunfire. During the time of the shooting spree, unfortunately, a bystander got hurt. However, it is unclear from which party, the offending robbers or the defending customers. Despite the sad part of the occurrence, at the end of the day, it all seemed like a win-win after the customer was declared in stable condition by the hospital he was rushed to. However, for the suspects, it certainly was not a picnic or a good walk in the park. Since they were hit by fired shots and received injuries, they were also first taken to the hospital for treatment. From recent reports, one of the suspects is in critical condition, while the other two seemed stable enough to face the hand of the law. The brave customer was not injured in the shooting. Unfortunately, the last unknown fourth robber is still on the run and wanted by the authorities. He was suspected to be behind the wheels used for the operation. According to recent investigations, it is not far-fetched to place the missing suspect with the same identity as the rest of his squad in custody. Something they all had in common is being young males between the ages of 15 and 18, who were juveniles. This robbery was not the Circle K Valero convenience store. There have been terrifying experiences in the past and only so much could be left to the authorities. According to an employee, they said, since I've been here, this is the second time the store has been robbed like that. It's mainly because of the location. It's horrible, but there's not much we can do about it, aside from having a police officer out here. With hope, these frequent robberies will be minimized, although it is not reasonable to assume that it will be 100% eliminated. This at least will give the much deserved fresh air needed. This incident brings us to the other part of today's video the speculations and votes on arms possession. It is simply among the many reasons insecurity should allow citizens the right of bearing arms. Although the protective authorities try their best to ensure citizens are out of danger, there is sometimes a slip up through which arms possession does not necessarily mean loss of lives and sustaining injuries. The fact about arms possession remains that there is a chance for survival before the authorities intervene. While owning firearms also does not ensure total safety, warding the threat off or delaying an attack might just be the thin line between life and death. Many house firearms are not actively used. They are usually used for intimidation and safety before help comes along. According to world statistics, the most popular reason for owning guns is for protection and empowerment against criminals. Threat and danger are the reality of the modern world. There have been numerous cases of people who were attacked in the confines of their homes without any means of defense except waiting on the authorities. Long story short, it does not always turn out great. According to USA Firearms Records, 
Most possessed guns from 1993 to 2011 were used for self-protection, rather than committing crimes. Also, about 1% of people who witnessed violent crimes only had an advantage because of their arms protection. 48% of citizens who own guns claim it is for defense and protection. A large percentage of the population is interested in owning firearms due to recent circumstances. The most useful and beneficial to the authorities is allowing possession of firearms legally so it can provide traceable evidence of being used for either protection or malicious engagement because let's face it, guns will be owned either legally or illegally. The permit is simply a literal term for controlling things when security seems uncontrollable. This is not the first time possessing firearms has saved many individuals from potential danger. According to an article published by criminologists Gary Kleck and Mark Gertz, 2.2 and 2.5 million uses are defensive guns annually. The fact alone is enough to rule out opposition to private gun ownership. There have been several instances where the Second Amendment right has effectively been the means for several citizens in the U.S. On April 4th, in Chicago, Illinois, there was footage recorded by the doorbell camera visualizing a homeowner's defense against two armed and masked intruders who tried to rob in daylight. The invaders forced their way into the homeowner's home, and there was a struggle that led to the homeowner's wife and children being threatened by a gun. A situation when the homeowner has nothing to defend his family leaves little to the imagination. There are many exact cases where little details were the determination of survival. Also, the struggle against a threat is commonly met with three different reactions. The effect of the adrenaline rush and how the situation is managed is also a detriment of the outcome. According to Myron and Brem's theory reviewed in 2006, citizens have a psychological reactance when their freedom is being threatened. The reactance serves as a motivation for the next course of action and how the magnitude of the threat is perceived. There is restricted behavior, in layman's terms, they are never going. They did not comply with orders or threats and will absolutely show their disapproval of the case. It does not matter whether they have advantageous leverage or could be seriously harmed. Their response to threats is usually hostile, irritated, angry, and aggressive. There are psychological arousals that could be influenced by several factors such as fear, culture, personality, the value of freedom, and many others. There are also individuals with a more rational approach to threats. They do not resort to an immediate defense mode or show any signs of hostility or discomfort. They trick their threat into thinking they are docile and compliant, then strike when the threats lose their guard. It is a far more tactical approach because of the higher chance of success, or in most situations, being safe. The citizen who shot the three robbers in defense can be used as a good example of this reaction. He played along and obeyed all others until there was an opening to fight back. Despite the unfortunate harm caused to a bystander, this is a far more impressive outcome compared to the armed suspects being left to their vices and bring in total control of the operation. Maybe more people would have been hurt in order to ensure intimidation. However, the table being turned ensured almost everyone's safety. With legally acquired firearms by citizens, there is a tendency for crime reduction now that criminals are aware that there are targets are equally equipped and might have far better training than they do. There is a mutual resistance and an assured destruction where the parties match each other's energy with possibly equal opportunity for defense. Every threat is met with an equal matching defense. This way, everyone is aware of each other's arms and will most likely adhere to laws. The grievances against firearms possession are understandable and very much justifiable. There have been several unattested murders or self-claimed defenses that could have been managed with minimal violence. Also, as of recent, there have been more increases in mass shootings today than in decades. The number of people unjustly harmed is a constant concern for the safety of unarmed citizens. Many have decided to take law into their hands and the rest have the choice to pick between being an armed and an unarmed victim of crime. With proper training in firearms and defense, a lot of avoidable killings would be put to a stop. I strongly suggest for every gun issued out. There has to be a certificate backing training in the use of firearms and attendance of a legitimate defense classes.
Also, there should be severe punishment for weapons possessed under unlawful means. A majority of the gun-owning population was not started on the grounds of pleasure or superiority. It became a necessity caused by fear and the quest for protection through even the hardest means. What is your opinion on legal gun ownership? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And also be sure to share, subscribe, and click on the notification button for updates on new videos.